Ok, guys, I'm here today with Marcos Almeida Buchecha, huge honor for me. Guys, the most winner jiu-jitsu athlete in, this, in the history of the sport. He has won 13 black belt world titles in the IBJJF, six times the open class uh, championship on IBJJF as a black belt, ADCC champion, Pan American champion, has won everything. He has beat everybody in jiu-jitsu. And uh, one of his main techniques is also one of my favorite techniques is the half guard. So today, Bushesh is going to show us here one of the moves that he has done so well that he actually just did in the ADCC and works for Gi and no Gi. He used it against Mohamed, who is crazy, crazy tough as well. So I'm super, super excited to learn from him. And let's do it, Bushesh. Uh, yeah, like you said, you know, Mohamed is a strong guy, so I didn't try to do the standing fight, so I choose to play guard. And I like to play a lot from the from the deep half, but like like you said, you know, he's a really strong guy, so he was doing this, and he was defending really well, so he put his leg up, and he was trying doing like a good defense. Of course, I wasn't trying him to let he pass over the head, but I just locked and was waiting for the right moment here. So when I feel he was trying to get this position, what I did was, was with this hand, I reached for his foot, and with the other, leg, the other hand, I, hook for his leg because I tried to push his leg away because I, I was trying to get his legs stuck together. So when I locked my hands here, I was trying to get his his legs together. But of course I wasn't able to, to get his hip on the mat because he was putting all his weight on me. So back up a little bit. Yeah, so he was kind of like this. So that's when I started locking and I used my forearm to pinch his legs together like that. Then I create some space and use this leg to take his weight out of me. So that was when I put his, his hip on the mat, then I was able to turn, right, on the knees. Of course, he felt that his only option was to face me. So once he turns, he came to the other side. Okay. Then I followed him and he gave me the, he ended up giving me space. That was when I jumped with the hooks in and end up on the back in the right side, finishing with the real naked choke. Of course, the jumping was a little bit different because he tried to stood up, but it was pretty much the same position. One more time, so. Yeah, we try right here, so I stuck his leg. So I reach for his, his calf here, end up on the hip. So I try to, the idea was to squeeze his legs together, right? And get my hip under because I was trying to sweep to the other way, but he was too heavy on me. So I use my hook to slide him down, come up on my elbow, so he tried to turn to the other way, he just come on him, and end up in getting on the back, and finishing with the real naked choke. So, which is a quick thing here. So guys, that's very, very interesting, because uh, when I'm playing deep half, for example, I do everything to not let my opponent get here and pass the leg over. So this is like my nightmare when that happens. And for Buchecha, he forces that. So he wants that happening. So pay attention on this. He's gonna force me to pass the leg over the head. And the same right, to get my hip under. Look at this, he used his hand to bring the leg over. So he's doing exactly the opposite that I do, but he has an amazing technique from there. And then the, the thing works really well for him. So let's just keep going, Buchecha. So I was trying to get my hip under your hip. So every time I was trying, just put under. Now guys, pay attention to this detail here. Look what he's gonna do with his elbow against my knee. So now my both legs are together and kind of locked here. So then... Because the idea is I was trying to roll you over to this way, but then he was trying to put the weight yeah, heavy here. Then before he reached here, I reached the leg. And at the same time I took his weight out of my hip, I turned on my knees. So because once I got here, he tried to face me. So when he started facing my leg, he ended up exposing his back, then we both end up on, on the knees. Of course, here I was on the back already, right, but then he tried to stood up. And when I end up jumping and getting both the hooks in and finishing on the back. So guys, uh, we, we just shot uh, a bunch of videos here for Bushesha, and I was really, really impressed with like how much knowledge he has. So many times we watch him competing, 
and we think that it's just because he is fast or strong but it's unbelievable like how he has everything in a system so looks like he has a ton of positions everything in order and that's why everything works and Oshisha, you were just telling me like uh, how you make your jiu-jitsu all based in connections right so yeah i think uh what i see different of nowadays because especially when you see like uh, we see in positions in videos and stuff uh, and and everyone is doing people work too much in one specific move right yeah. so they get one sweep finish on top and we see a lot of that in competitions. People come up on top, look at the referees, the competition, wait for the points, and then reset to start doing something. So I think uh, that's really poor in connections. So in my jiu-jitsu, it's not about like crazy moves, but it's about connections. So I always, when I get one sweep, I try to connect with one pass, most, most of the times the folding pass, and from there, getting the side control, Getting like a good on the hook, going to the knee on the body, straight to the mount and straight to the armbar. So I have been done that a lot. So in the last fights in the worlds, you can see I'm doing exactly like this. So it's all about connection. So always when I have one grip, I use that grip to take advantage. So I'm not just get the position, let go, reset and do again. It's just one move and like making it flow with the water, water. Water. Exactly. Yeah, I kind of forgot to show here, right? So you, you went for a half or sweep and then I put on my back. And in the ADCC, you got a choke like yeah, right so away it was kind of like all connected. Since, of course, I was trying to do like a Lucas late half car, but he defended and I ended up like staying on my back flat. So like you said, I don't really like when people do that too, but he he did. So it was kind of like one variation that I had to do it, but it wasn't like really me. He was defending, so I had to work on his defense. So that was kind of like a chess game and I ended up in getting on that on the variation and work out really well. And I was happy to get the finish and to be meeting him and going to the straight to the final. Got it. Yeah, guys, so uh, Bouchesha also has a happier instructional on bgfanatics.com. And uh, as I said, it was amazing to work with him and see like how many techniques he has for specific subjects. So uh, as I said, like when, when we see him competing, we don't know how many details goes on in his mind on every position. So that was our job here was trying to like open up everything he thinks on every position and put that together in order. So that was really, really cool. Thanks yeah, so much. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. It. It, was, it was really a big pleasure working with you guys and I'll be back soon working again. Thank you. <laughs> Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.